Hi everybody, I'm Dr. John Diard, and welcome to LifeSpot.com. We prove the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with modern science. And today I want to talk about this really disturbing topic called microplastics. Um, there was a recent study, and I cite the reference to this study because it's sort of hard to believe, in the article associated with this video at LifeSpot.com. Just go to LifeSpot.com. Uh, it should be on your homepage. Just type in microplastics and it'll come up. And there was a study showed that the average person on this planet today is getting a credit card's worth of plastic every single week into their body. These plastics, these microplastics can actually cross the blood brain barrier. They can get into your brain chemistry, you know, at particularly higher levels than other parts of your body. Um, they like to store in fat cells. And since the brain is mostly fat, that's where they like to kind of hang out. They also hang out in the fat in your body and they create all types of concerns from mood concerns to memory concerns to, to acting as endocrine disruptors, destroying the very subtle and important feedback in your body from a hormonal perspective to keep the body in balance, which is a very important piece of the puzzle. They act as you know, as, as free radical agents or what are called reactive oxygen species, which are linked to cancer and unnecessary aging factors and DNA damage. All of this stuff is actually part of what these microplastics are doing. They also really irritate the gut lining, creating things like leaky gut. And from the Ayurvedic perspective, you know, your gut health is critical. 85% of all disease comes from an imbalance in your gut. We kind of ignore our digestive system unless it starts to really scream at us and yell at us. So we sort of sweep a lot of those concerns under the rug. My favorite pet peeve is we don't, how we sweep it under the rug is we just bubble wrap our diet. We stop eating a variety of different foods because harder to digest foods in combination with chemicals and microplastics they become even more difficult to digest, create irritation of the intestinal tract, and then you start having pain or discomfort or gas or bloating or some type of digestive concern. So it's a, it's a real problem. So some of the ways that we can sort of navigate around it, obviously our environment, we have to just avoid the plastic. Anything that you're using, like when we're drinking out of water, drink out of glass, you know, just try to avoid plastic like the plague. You know, plastic water bottles, tens of thousands of microplastics per liter of bottled water, particularly if they're in the sun, God forbid. Uh, you never want to heat or put any kind of plastic in your dishwasher, for sure, not in a microwave that you're going to actually eat off of. Disposable cups oftentimes have that kind of, kind of really smooth lining on the inside. That's plastic. You put hot water into that. You're really amping up the the microplastic exposure. Um, you know, many of the uh, the filters that we use are are uh, lined with plastic or nylon. So you have to be careful of that. Tea bags can be nylon or made with kind of different types of plastics. So you have to really be aware of that. Companies like uh, Bigelow and Puka and Yogi Tea, they actually have bags that they list on there and say are, are microplastic free. So that hopefully will be more of a thing. You can start looking for that. Of course, using, you know, just bulk herbs or bulk teas to make tea with would be great. You know, using glass containers to heat your water or, or, or metal, uh, or using like a, for your coffee, um, boy, those Keurig or those, those plastic pods are, again, heated up plastic, right? So you don't wanna, you don't really wanna do that. Using a, you know, a stainless steel glass French press or AeroPress that's stainless steel or glass. Those are the ways to go. Just look at your equipment that you're heating things up with and make sure there's no plastic touching the water, which is really important. Food storage, use glass. Um, those are just the simplest things that we can do to sort of avoid that. Getting air filters in your house, because believe it or not, from, and you know, the best way to do it is just stop wearing synthetic clothing. I've written articles about the dangers of that. And those synthetic clothes are basically made of plastic. So when you're wearing synthetic clothes, you're literally wearing plastic. And that's not a good look either. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell when I wear a synthetic, you know, clothing. I just don't feel right. Uh, I start to sweat differently. It's weird. Um, so I really avoid that and have for years like the plague, you know, synthetic 
underwear, you know, again, even the worst place for you to be putting plastics on your skin, you know, very, very important. And those plastics from your clothes or your bed sheets or your bed, you know, your bed, your blankets, if they're synthetic, that gets into your air and now you're breathing in these microplastics. I know it's like everywhere. It's like, you know, it's like the Dr. Seuss book. It never gets, it, every, it just gets everywhere. Um, but, you know, making sure you have a good air filter in your home as well. So you filter the air on a regular basis is also really critical. Other things you can do that I think are really helpful are things like you know, eating more fiber in your diet. You know, 25 to 50 grams of fiber per day. The hunter gathers, according to many of the experts, um, uh, Dr. I think Daniel Lieberman wrote a book called The, the Story of the Human Body. He's a Harvard professor. And he said the average hunter-gatherer got about 100 grams of fiber in their diet per day. And what that fiber does, and this is how it works, right? You're, you, when you eat a plastic, <clears throat> your body can recognize that as some sort of fat. That'll produce more bile. And the bile is like a Pac-Man from your liver, cleaning up garbage in your liver, in your blood, and in your intestinal tract, cleaning your villi. And um, the fiber that you eat attaches to that bile with all the toxins in tow and takes it to the toilet. That's why fiber is so critically important in our diet, which is why diets that are sort of like fiber-less, like the keto diet, sure, as a medicinal diet, really good science behind that but as a diet for the rest of your life without the fiber could set you up for problems down the road. So the, the, the bile attaches to the fiber and the fiber takes the bile with all the toxins to the toilet. If you don't have enough fiber in your diet, studies show that up to 93% of that bile with all the toxins in tow can get reabsorbed back to your liver and with all the toxins with it and dump all that toxic material back into your liver which has to start the whole process over again. And your body will take that sort of old bile and reuse it up to 17 times before it finally gets discarded as unusable. It's sort of like washing your dirty dishes in the same dirty dishwasher water like for 17 times or days in a row. It's just a real problem when you come to kind of re reusing that bile again and again. And fiber just makes sure all the bile goes to the toilet. You gotta to make brand new bile every single day. And that bile is what detoxifies you. That's why fiber is so important. Foods that are really good are things that have natural antioxidants in them, like berries and dark leafy greens and citrus fruits. And when you eat the citrus, most of the really powerful protective bioflavonoids are in the peel. I know, peels are terrible, but Try to, you know, best you can, if you're gonna eat an orange, chop it up into small pieces, eat the, the, the orange part, the pith, the white part, and the actual orange itself. Try to eat that, you'll be surprised how good it tastes. Lemons have the same quality, throw them in a blender, blend them up, you don't even know you're eating the peel. The research on that is off the charts. You know, I've written articles, just type it at lifespot.com, type in, you know, citrus peel or fruit peels. You'd be surprised of the science behind that. Uh, really important. We just cut off the peel, throw it away, and we throw away the most important and most, most the, the, the parts that have the most health benefits are critically, critically important. Saunas, hot tubs, anything that makes you sweat, exercise is another way to protect you. Staying hydrated, but when you take hydrated, make sure you're drinking water that has been filtered. Even tap water has been shown to have microplastics in it, so that's really important as well. Um, doing an Ayurvedic cleanse, you know, this is uh, twice a year in the spring and the fall is when the, the seasons are dramatically shifting. And historically, Ayurveda would say that you really do need to make a change in your diet or even do a detox at the change of seasons. And they use something called the lipophilic mediated detoxification pathways, which means that if you take ghee or clarified butter, and there's alternative oils you can use as well, but ghee is classically used, and you take that at higher doses every morning for seven days while you're on a completely no-fat diet, really clean diet, and that's all in my website at lifespot.com. You can download our free short home cleanse, which is a four-day detoxify detoxification. You can take our, our, our uh, Colorado Ayurveda cleanse, which is a 14 digestive uh, detox and reset uh, cleanse, which is really potent. And of course, we have a more advanced Kaya Kalpa cleanse. Again, a free ebook, lots of information for free. Most of all the articles, 1,500 of our articles at lifespot.com are free. 
whatever health concern you have, you want to see some ancient wisdom and modern science to back it up, go to lifespot.com, type in your health concern and see if you can find some self-help support there. Um, so doing a cleanse is really important. So what the study showed that when you do ghee every day for seven days, um, four to seven days, and you take a no fat diet, the ghee gets into your tissues. It supports because it's fat, your own fat metabolism. So it starts burning your fat, which is your, where you store the toxins, but it also goes into your tissues and it's lipophilic. So it attaches to the heavy metals, the fat soluble pollutants and pulls them out of your tissues to the tune of in one study compared to people who didn't do the cleanse, 46% of the PCBs and 56% of the uh, pesticides were detoxified, you know, greater than the folks who didn't do the cleanse. So that Ayurvedic cleanse has science behind its ability to detoxify you. Studies haven't been done specifically on microplastics, but all these environmental pollutants um, oftentimes fall under the same de detoxification pathways like the fiber the hydration, the exercise, the sweating, all the, the more of the leafy greens and the dark greens were critical, the berries, the, the, um, the citrus, uh, yeah, all of these really, really important. You know, there are herbs um, and foods that are known to be natural chelators or detoxifiers like chlorella and coriander and garlic. Uh, Shilajit is an herb that will actually pull impurities out of your tissues. Um, there's chelation, you know, herb, we have some chelation supplements which have all the herbs and something called EDTA, which is an amino acid that specifically attaches to calcium and other heavy metals in the body. So there are ways naturally to help pull these impurities out of your body. Two studies on um, turmeric and holy basil um, have been shown to protect the body from environmental pollutants. So having them in your system as foods or taking them as supplements in their whole natural state, not the extracted, super concentrated, sterile versions of these plants, the whole plant, which has the natural microbiome in it, as well as all the constituents not just one or two of the constituents, not just the curcumin out of the turmeric, the whole plant. And um, that's the beauty of Ayurveda is taking the whole plant, not, which is not sterile, has this natural microbiome and its natural biochemistry working synergistically with our body because our body has microbes in it as well. Most of the supplements we take are sterile. M medications are sterile. And we forget that we are circadian beings and those bugs run those circadian rhythms in terms of diet changing with the season being a coming a seasonal eater uh, we have really simple ways of becoming a seasonal eater download our free grocery list for winter summer and spring which are the three main harvests in nature circle the foods that you like on the grocery list for summer give yourself permission to eat more of those foods the ones with the asterisks are the superfoods for each season. It makes it super simple, obviously organic and, and, and or from your farmer's market. Or your own garden is even better because you're making sure it's really clean and you're getting, of course, the, the really robust and diverse microbes that we so desperately need to protect us from the toxic world that we absolutely do live in. So go to my website, lifespy.com, read the full article about microplastics, get all the links to all the things that might be able to help you, other articles that take you on a deeper dive, and hopefully that'll help us all find some way to get protected against this newest, latest public enemy. All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Deyard. Hi, everybody. I just want to take a minute and tell you what we do here at lifespa.com. You know, I've been in practice now for 40 years, 38 of them have been practicing Ayurvedic medicine full time. For the last 20 years, I've been writing articles and doing videos on the ancient medical wisdom of Ayurveda with the modern science. You know, if something's been around for a thousand years, still practice today, and you have modern science to prove it, well, I really feel like that's something we should all be taking a look at. And that's what we do at lifespot.com and all that information is for free. So just go to lifespot.com and search in your health topic and you'll get the information, the article that you need, hopefully that will help you. Now, while you're there, check out our Ayurvedic store. You can get there through lifespot.com or go to store.lifespot.com. And there we have all of our organic Ayurvedic herbs, organic skincare line, more books, tapes, knowledge that we give you is all there at our store. All of our cleansing kits are there 
in our store. All of our herbs are whole herbs with the natural occurring microbiome, the way it came out of the soil. And that's critically important because if I took the bugs out of you, you'd be completely different. We take the bugs away from a plant, like sterilizing and making an extract or spraying your food with pesticides, you lose significant benefit of that plant. And that's why we use the whole plant with the natural occurring microbiome. So check us out, learn more about what we're doing here at lifespot.com and uh, we'll see you again. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.